Arapuni Dam was the first high dam built on the Waikato River. The original plans for the dam specified it was to scale 63 metres in height. It took six years of intense labour to complete. Decades later, mighty river power identified change seepage conditions during routine dam investigation and monitoring work. Peter Amos describes the problem in more detail. We found fish and snails were coming from drains at the toe of the dam and this indicated that there was a, a clear large leakage path forming from the reservoir under the dam with the potential to break out at the toe of the dam. It was therefore necessary to have an emergency grouting operation which would seal this uh, leakage path um, permanently and uh, prevent this breakout of the toe of the dam. So in a 24-hour non-stop operation, a stable modern cement grout was used to fill the fissure that was developing this leak uh, and that was a successful process and it was carried out while the reservoir remained full the entire time. A wide range of investigation techniques were employed across the site to determine what the risk would be of another foundation leakage incident. Techniques uh, that were used included core drilling, installing instruments in those holes, groundwater temperature analysis, groundwater chemistry and isotope testing, dye tracking, tracing tests and uh, remote operated uh, underwater inspection of the uh, lake bed. Analysis of the results of all of these investigations led to the development of a geotechnical and a hydrogeology models of the foundation and these clearly demonstrated that there were four zones in the foundation with the potential for further leak incidents. Lowering the lake to affect the repairs was considered, um, you know, it had to be an extreme case that would lead us to do that. So the, the challenge on us was to deliver a solution while the lake remained in service. And um, in order to do that, we had to have a high degree of confidence around the safety and, and management of the lake. Doing the works with the lake full is a very unusual way of doing a dam remediation job. That reduced the amount of options that we had to work with. To achieve this, it would mean drilling rows of holes side by side down through the top of the dam. The walls were positioned using highly accurate directional drilling techniques prior to enlarging and formation of the overlapping holes. Once the holes were drilled, they would be verified for position and quality and backfill with concrete to create the under dam wall, removing any future seepage risk once and for all. Monitoring the dam during construction has been important. All the instrumentation of the dam site was continuously monitored during each phase of the drilling and backfill process, ensuring that the hydraulic behaviour of the dam site remained under strict control and safe at all times. There's an extensive number of instruments measuring pressure and uh, water flows in the order of about 100 instruments. What better place is there to put instrumentation than deep below the foundation of the dam where the effect of the works can be monitored in real time. At the moment we're inside one of the galleries and we're actually beside some of the drill holes that were installed to investigate the foundation and now we've installed these instruments in there. We can get real-time information from here. To achieve the precision drilling of the holes needed to complete this project, specialised equipment capable of high drilling accuracy and reverse circulation capability had to be built and shipped to Arapuni from Trevi of Italy. Brian Perry Civil joined Trevi and Mighty River Power since the inception of the Alliance, contributing to the project with local knowledge, resources and project management. Marco Lukey, the Alliance project manager, talks about how the Alliance made the drilling perfect for Arapuni. The drilling machine was uh, tested uh, in Italy. We did a trial test uh, before the commencement of the real project, uh, our project in Arapuni. The Arapuni project has been investigated and monitored by peer reviewer Larry Von Thun. So that the design intent is being met uh, very well, probably exceeding our expectations. I, I will say that the, the work by Dam Watch and Mighty River Power on this has just been exceptional. 